Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew, and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. So yesterday I put out the video about uh, whether do I need a bar on this build of BSPWM on Debian Bookworm. And so I, you know, with that in mind, I created a bunch of um, key bindings with using Dunst to show where I am uh, in, in terms of workspaces and time and so on and so forth. So to give myself, you know, the same type of challenge, I wanted to, um, you know, use Polybar and see which one I liked better. And so what I've done here is really create a nice looking Polybar. Now, again, I actually cannot take credit for a lot of this because, and I will link to the, um, to the really smart person who, uh, where I got this from. Um, but I wanted to show you that um, this polybar is probably what I would choose to use if I was going to use a bar at all. And I'm, you know, clicking over uh, individual uh, workspaces and um, showing you the uh, font awesome icons that uh, that I used in this. Uh, and these are these are custom. I I I, I chose these. And depending on which uh, workspace uh, I was going to be in, so I want to show you uh, some of the stuff. Now, again, these are just workspaces. You've got time. You've got a date. Um, when it comes to this uh, in the polybar, if you click on it, it basically shows you how much disk space you have. Okay. Um, as far as CPU. I have uh, connected this to CPU X. Okay, so this is what pops up when you use CPU X. It's kind of cool. You can, you know, you can get through um, and get a lot of information when it comes right down to it. CPU X is pretty cool. Um, so as far as uh, Bluetooth, if you click on that, you know, your blue man comes up. Blue Man Manager. And let's close that. Now, let me show you also um, built in audio. You can click, uh, left click it, and it just mutes. If you right click it, um, Pulse Audio pops up. And it shows the configuration that it's currently on. Okay. So if I wanted to, which is probably what I want, you know, uh, this is what I probably would use. Um, there you go, and it actually shows what uh, configuration has been chosen. And if I just scroll also, it changes the volume, which is pretty neat. So yesterday I showed you that there was a help uh, Rofi that uh, was created. And so when I click on that, um, it shows the uh, key bindings and you, you know, this is obviously malleable, so you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, this is for Redshift. Remember yesterday I did a, a video on keep creating a key binding for Redshift on and off. So Redshift on is it the left click button and uh, Redshift off is the right click button. Okay. And the only other thing I added or, or did here also is if you click on the little guy in the corner, it pops out um, your you know, your logout shut down boot reboot and stuff like that. So let's look at the, let's look at the script just a little bit. Okay. And when you're looking at, um, when you're looking at polybar, you know, you've got a lot of things that are built into the system and these are things that you would choose. Now this pulse audio control output, uh, that's something that was added after the fact. Um, pretty neat, um, and I'll probably put a link in the description below. Um, same thing with uh, Redshift and Session. But I wanted to show you this update real quick, okay? Because this was a little bit tricky in that when I go down to, um, to the update, which I can't find right this second. There we go. Since we're using Nala, okay, if you're not using Nala, this, this is kind of irrelevant. You would want like apt list upgradable and then just this 
pipe with the WC and then the dash L so that it basically counts the number of lines that are upgradable. With this, with Nala, you're going to get a lot of extra lines. So let me just show you. So if I go and open up a terminal and I say sudo apt, uh, in, in my case, I'm using apt because Nala is synonymous with apt um, update. Now it's 78 packages now, so it's actually, there's going to be, this is going to change up here in a second. But if you list them, so if I just take this, and I say Nala list upgradable, all the if you do this if you do that same thing all of these lines would get counted so all of these lines would probably add up to about 200 lines because since there's 78 packages and it's about three lines per package your update number would be um you know well over 200 but it, which which would not be correct it would so basically what you need is this line where it says just the upgradable you know, grip, grab, grab that and then count it. So that's how uh, I got the correct number. And, and this only updates every, like, uh, I think it's like a thousand, oh, right here, thousand seconds. So, you know, what is that, eight and a half minutes, something like that. So anyway, you get the idea. So basically, you know, uh, in the BSPM, BSPWMRC, um, I've created a um basically a couple things different you know i want certain things to float uh, blue man manager and also this image viewer which is pretty cool um and then when it starts it's starting polybar starts with this polybar hyphen launch and this is a simple um Make sure you're, you're killing any other polybars and then you're just launching it with this uh, minimal INI configuration, which is demonstrated here. Now, again, these are some of these are the scripts that were written uh, for the um, for not having a bar. So I thought it was nice to actually use them um, in the bar itself as well so that you can you know click on it and you would then launch it so you know like here you click on this and then it you know it pops up that it pops up that uh, menu but if you also if you hit super x it pops up the same menu okay so this is where i am you know as far as the um overall um look and feel of the uh of this task bar uh, sorry of this uh of this bar poly bar and um i'm i'm liking it i'm liking it now the question is i don't know if i'm going to use this or one that just doesn't have a bar at all so i'll get back to you on that i did want to show you this that one uh item though that's a let me open this and um under this B bsp WMRC, I did have this um, QIMGV, which is an image viewer that I had not tried before. So if you have tried this, you know, more power to you, but I, I didn't try this before, so it's pretty cool. Like if I go and look at this scrot thing and I open it and it shows me in the center uh, this um, just like kind of a snapshot of this, uh, this image. Now, if I, if I hit the F key, it blows it up to full screen. Okay. So F to full screen and then F back down to kind of like a, um, a thumbnail. But when I go full screen, it actually, and you get, then you go put the uh, the cursor up here. You can swap between any of the, um, images that are in that folder. So I, I kind of like this, this Q, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> the QIMGV uh, program. So pretty nifty.
All right. I guess that's it for today. I mean, it's only about 10 minutes, but um, if you are interested in any of the things that uh, this polybar has, uh, it is in my uh, dot files and I will link to them in the description below. I don't know that we're going to do anything more with BSPWM. I think I'm going to swap over to DWM next. So uh, until then, I'll see you next time.